Welcome back. According to NOAA Marine Debris Program, 8 million metric tons of plastic waste enters our waterways every year. Some Colorado fishermen want to find a way to clean up local fishing waters because they believe that plastic fishing lures are littering waterways and affecting how fish grow. So they invested in a product they believe could make the water cleaner and safer for fish, which could mean better fishing. In Colorado, there are 6,000 miles of streams and more than 1,300 lakes and reservoirs for outdoor enthusiasts to explore. That abundance of fresh water to wade through is just one of the many reasons people love to fish in the Centennial State. The tug. The tug's a drug. <laughs> Sending the hook home and cranking them in, getting a picture of the big fish and bragging to my friends and having people be like, oh, what'd you get it on? Where'd you catch it? And not telling them a dang thing. With the intention to tidy up local waters, three Colorado fishermen started doing some research into finding suitable ways to fish without adding to polluted waters. They found a patent available that they believe to be more eco-friendly. The product is called BioBait. Good to go. That is a natural based formula. Uh, it's a safer alternative to plastic and it actually degrades in a little over a year uh, compared to a standard plastic that's about 250 plus years. So it's safer for fish, safer for the environment and a huge step in the right direction in conservation of our fish. It's a big old car problem. <laughs> According to BioBait, this fishing lure is water soluble, meaning if a line breaks or you lose a lure in the water, the fish are able to pass it easier. Plastic will expand four to five times its normal size. Um, with BioBait, um, it starts the degradation process. It's actually infused with fish oil during production. And as soon as it's submerged in the water, and depending on if it's fully submerged in pH levels, uh, that fish oil is going to help expedite uh, that degradation process. BioBait says that process is important because it helps the lure to break down faster compared to a standard plastic lure. Raw material here. We'll then take that raw material where we will add our color and our flake and then it'll suck it up through these and shoot them out into the mold. Once this machine is prepped, it only takes a few minutes to produce this strand of BioBait. The final product. A majority of the lures are also made right here in Littleton, but they do have another facility in Alabama to help them keep up with the demand. Line them up, and then you cut them, and that's how you get your tube jig right there. In a day, they can put together around 2,200 bags of BioBait. We bag them all by hand, so four different hands on them every time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's a process. One at a time, check it, bag it. Fishermen throughout the country have already taken to this eco-friendly way to fish. Tyler Rowley, a BioBait partner, says seeing others use a product he had a hand in putting together makes the long days worth it. And when you give one to someone else too, that's and they start catching fish on it, that's just as satisfying as you catching fish on it. 